crew day guys i'm not feeling my best but let's do this On this episode of Sailing Run Punch, I take you on part one of my competent crew course, which I completed in September this year. I've split this into two episodes, so make sure you hit that subscribe button for part two and follow us as we take our step into making the ocean our home. Number one. Southampton ready for my competent crew um, I've just got here I've had a very long day I've come all the way from Paris um, as you can tell I've got a bit of a cold and I'm hoping that it goes away by tomorrow <laughs> I've had it all week so I've been trying to get rid of it so I've decided to go with a school called Boss the British Offshore Skis let me try that again British Offshore British Offshore Sailing School British Offshore Sailing School someone else try to say that who are based in Hamble Point Marina and I'm actually doing a women's only training course I originally was going to do this with Ben and he was going to do his day skipper whilst I did my competent crew but we both decided that it would be better for me to learn without him there he was like I think you should do your competent crew without me there so that you get the most out of it because there's a part of me that probably will end up relying on him a lot and then there's just me being like I don't want to be the only girl in probably what will become an all men's sailing course. Yeah, I'm very excited. The one thing I need to do now is pack. Ooh. Okay, so this is absolutely everything I have in both of my bags that was designated for this trip. I'm now going to try and whittle this down to what I absolutely think I need and what can fit in my bag. Wish me luck. These are my Mosto Salopettes. These are men's because the men's small was smaller than the women's small and I'm small so <laughs> they fit the best. Gil welly boots again needed. Gil jacket. Big fan. This is my large jacket. Big fan of this. It's quite dusty because it's been in the boat for a long time and a bit of fiberglassy but it'll be alright. This is what you what I clip onto so that I'm secure in the boat. Whatever you call this, this is why I'm a beginner, everyone. That's going in. Cozy gloves, sailing gloves. Ben has very lovingly lent me his RNLI cap. But now I'm part of the crew kids. I've got three pairs of waterproof socks. I've got two sets of trainers here. Now I think we're probably gonna take these. They're supposed to be non-marking trainers. Um, I don't have deck shoes, so. That's what I've got, guys. I've got some check bars. This is a dry bag for all my clothes. My coffee cup, which Ben said was very useful because there's never enough mugs. Then thermal, so I have just thermal leggings and two thermal tops. I kind of feel like it's all very needed, but I don't think I can take it all, so I need to fine tune it a little bit more. It's some kind of devotion that brings me down. Our home for the next five days was a beautiful Sigma 38 which we loaded up with food, essentials, and all our stuff on the morning of day one. After a morning of talking through the course, we headed off for an afternoon sail en route for East Cows on the Isle of Wight. One of our first lessons was learning to tack. So I'm handing over to our wonderful skipper, Gary. Thank you, now both ready to tack. Yeah. Okay, so you're ready for, ready starboard. I'm gonna call Helmer Lee, which tells you we're moving. All right, gently through the wind. The O. Did we spin the winch? We're sure. We didn't spin the winch. It's gone the wrong way. Always spin the winch. The first day was jam-packed, full of information and a lot to take in. But that feeling of being on the water, the excitement of literally learning the ropes got us all excited to start all over again for day two. In warps, in fenders! Day two, 
11 o'clock. Um, I'm just had a shower, I'm getting ready, and we're leaving at about 9 a.m. I'm on Mother Watch today, so I've got to go help Julia with some cooking and coffee for everyone. Let's go, day two. Today, in the middle of the North Sea there, where, where that cross is, is there any wind? Oh, no. Yeah. no. Not really. Alright, there'll be more wind in the Solent than in the North Sea today. Mm. As a comp crew, mm. all you need to know is where to get weather information from. So when I teach weather, I always start big to small. We look at the synoptic chart, we learn to understand fronts and isobars and, and little things that we've just discussed. And then I then I tell people, then then go into the apps. Day two started with some meteorology lessons from Gary followed by setting lines to slip and taking some time to practice mooring and berthing. All gone for it! Sealing. <laughs> One of the reasons I chose to do the course in the UK was to gain the best experience I could from the get-go. The Solent especially was my choice due to the huge tidal ranges and unpredictable weather that can really challenge and give you the best understanding of the science of sailing. Not only this, but along the Solent there are so many ports and places to explore to truly enrich your sailing experience. And well, many people do say if you can sail in the Solent, you can sail anywhere. today took us along the Beauty River into Buckers Hard, where we fulfilled another part of our competent crew, learning to row a tender. This started out well, but ultimately turned into us in hysterics, realising it was a lot harder than it looked. Babes, <laughs> over here. to come so click subscribe hit the alert button and don't miss part two